we built this facility, which is now 10 years old. We were limited with the budget we had to build the building. Uh, we now have an opportunity to expand and to put in some facilities and spaces that we didn't have in the last plan. Currently the faculty practice is down in the lower level of the dental school and he has six operatories. With the expansion project, we will move to a different area, have 13 operatories, and each will be equipped with a dental chair, uh, a dental light, a dental unit, an operator stool, and then the necessary supportive equipment that would be available. Well, in the Sim Lab, what we do is the students are trained to do um, their first operative or filling procedures down there. And so they've never had that experience ever. This is the first time that they've ever been exposed to this sort of thing. So um, preparing a filling is uh, basic foundational knowledge in dental school, obviously, and so this is the first experience that they have doing that. It's extremely important because this is where they get their first clinical, hands-on kind of experience, and so the more realistic it is, the better. Well, moving from 80 to 106 um, bench tops would be great because uh, if the class size expands to 100 as they're planning then having those six extra benches will more than accommodate you know any changes within the classes the class sizes so that would be a, a huge benefit to us and give us a lot more flexibility the operatories are very important because in our um, in our curriculum we end up having our students in the clinic all four years, of course in different capacities. Even our freshmen are here observing and performing certain procedures, even if it happens to be related to a laboratory course so that they get the feel of being in an actual chair, utilizing the light, using the other equipment that is there as well. And we have to think ahead to make sure that we're current and appropriate for the community's needs as we're going towards the future as well. We're all excited about this. We love it. Part of the mission of the university is actually to uh, allow faculty to do research. So this is one of the most important aspects of having new research laboratories in the expansion project of the Dell School because we can meet and help the university meet the mission. And it's not something that just started with the expansion. It started when I was a first year student and I went to monthly meetings with the administration and I noticed that they took suggestions from the students very seriously. And so it doesn't surprise me that they're wanting to invest in an expansion because it just continues the assertion that they're really proactive in listening to the students' suggestions and concerns. And even if I'm an alum of 15 years out and they expand the school, I think that'll make my degree look that much better. Most of the, the students typically in dentistry, most of the graduates of a dental school end up ultimately practicing in the state in which they uh, receive their education. And in order for us to, to have an adequate workforce in terms of numbers, but also in terms of quality, capability, um, we have to have, I think, a, a stable, solid educational facility or institution that provides that, that education. Well, whenever we're in Madison speaking with the governor or policymakers, we always tell the, the dental school at Marquette is our state's only dental school. It is the state dental school. We talk about what an important role it plays, not only in our profession, but through the clinic, uh, through its outreach efforts, you know, just the economic impact that it has on our state. But as far as the profession goes, um, we, we need that dental school. If we're going to be the, the, the voice of, of, prof, of organized dentistry, we need that dental school. We need it to be viable, we need it to be healthy, we need it to be strong, and that's why we fully support this expansion project. We have clinical activities that span the whole state. We work not just in the southeastern part, but obviously we're a great uh, resource to the city of Milwaukee. We provide services that wouldn't otherwise be provided here. Uh, so the impact of what happens here in the southeastern corner of Wisconsin at Marquette School of Dentistry is broad and this expansion project will just broaden that and add to what we're already doing. I think all of us in dentistry would look at where we are today, whether you graduated 20 years ago or 50 years ago from Marquette, you have had a wonderful career in the profession. But we need to make sure that the dental school in Wisconsin moves forward and has everything to offer 
the new dentists of the future, and that's going to take all of us working together. Now is the time to step up. We expect those that gave and passed to, to again uh, contribute. We also want to reach those who have not supported in the past. I feel very, very gifted and proud to ask for it because I feel very strongly about what I got out of this school and uh, what my degree meant to me, both in financial security and prestige. And I want you to think about that. When that request comes, give a little, give a lot, but give.